Meanwhile, we're asking you about your number one special talent. We've been asking all morning long. You can use the hashtag I am up to weigh in. Now we're asking this question because in this morning's Daybreak Rewind, Chris Sadegi discovered some pretty impressive skills from days gone by, including one that you may have to chew on. It's been a staple at beauty pageants for decades, but you don't have to be a beauty queen to show off your talent. Maybe you're quick. You have to be able to draw fast and hit the target too. Or maybe you're nimble. We practice um, sometimes as many as five and six hours a day. Or maybe your talent is a little more unique. And when you have unique talent, don't be afraid to show it off. You got to get it all up in the front. You push with your tongue and your lips. Just get one big wad way out there. No, this had nothing to do with cherries. In a 1975 WFA story from the SMU Jones Film Library, students at UT Arlington were taking part in a show of true athleticism, a tobacco spitting contest. These collegiate competitors strode to the spit line, wiggled their wad, and gave a mighty heave. As you might expect, the winner was a baseball player. And the winner, with a blast of 147 inches, was UTA pitching ace Doug Osterloh. And as with all talent, practice makes perfect. No, I've been spitting since I was about 16. Been practicing this year in a dugout. Do you have any tips for young spitters coming up on the circuit? Yeah, um, don't swallow it. <laughs> yeah, same with the stems. In Dallas, I'm Chris Sadegi.